Hello everybody, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here. I hope you're all really well. Today I'm going to show you how to recreate this quick and easy but glamorous eye look. I think it's quite sophisticated and it suits all eye shades um, because it's got a sort of mixture of cool and warm tones in it. I can guarantee you that it is quick and easy to recreate because I came up with this look when we were going to a family friend's cocktail party. I'd gotten held up at work, my parents were rushing me and I still wanted to make an effort to look nice because you know, I think it's respectful for the host. So I came up with this look. It's really quick and easy to recreate. It incorporates one of my favorite eyeshadow colors, which is Galaxy from the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow range. That's the most expensive product in this look. That's 18 pounds and everything else is quite reasonably priced, this sort of drugstore or drugstore level. So I hope that you like this. And if you'd like to know how to recreate it, then just keep watching. Okay, so in the interest of saving time, I've already applied my base, my highlight and contour and my blush. I've got a slick of lip gloss on, just a very sheer pinky shade, and I've also done my brows. As always, I'm going to start off by applying my trusty Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I've got my mirror over here, so do excuse me if I'm looking in this direction a lot. Um, if you watch my videos or follow my blog, you'll know that this is a product that I really love. I'm still getting through the, all the backups that I bought, um, which is why I've still got the old style packaging. There's quite a few different colours of this, but this is just the original one that I'm using. Next, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Galaxy, number 9, which looks like this. It's a colour that I really like, and I used it in my first tutorial, the navy blue smoky eye, just to give my eyes some extra pop and intensity, and I applied just a little dot of it over the pupil. Today I'm going to show you how to use it slightly differently by applying it all over the lid. Nothing groundbreaking, I'm just going to do it using my finger. I'm literally just taking this over the lid itself, no further up or not winging it out or anything. Okay, so you can see how I've applied this. These really do live up to the name. They're long wearing, they don't crease, so you probably don't even need to use the eyeshadow primer potion underneath, but I think it's just habit for me. I always use it. I think it also adds a little bit of intensity to the colour as well. The next step, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow. This is in the colour Burnt Plum. I'm quite impressed with this. I'm just going to use the e.l.f. Blending Brush. This is just from the Essentials line, £1.50 for the blending brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of that on the brush, tap off the excess, and I'm going to apply this into the socket, or the crease. Just just like that. This is so pigmented that you only need a small amount. And to wipe any excess off the brush and just use a sort of windscreen wiper motion to blend that out. Once that's done, I'm going to add some sparkle and I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush and onto this I'm going to take a colour from my Coastal Sense palette. This is the sort of one that you put together yourself, much like the MAC ones, but a hell of a lot cheaper. This is what my palette looks like, and I'm going to be using this colour here, which is called ME02. It's got a metallic finish. Taking it onto the brush, and as always, tapping off any excess. And I'm going to apply this mainly over the centre of the eye. And I'm pressing it on. Certainly over the sort of bottom half of my lid. So when my eyes open, you can see that there's sort of this crease in it. And I'm just applying it there. I'm not taking it over the whole of the lid, but towards the lashes. I have to say, I've been incredibly impressed with these hot pots. The only thing I don't like is that they do swivel around a bit in the palette when you're touching your brush in there. I'm just going to show you the difference in the two eyes now. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but you can see this one looks has a little bit more intensity um, and a bit more machine to it compared to this one that does not yet have the, um, the ME02 shade on it. Okay, so that's all of the eyeshadow done. I'm now going to go in with my Too True Effortless Eyeliner, and I'm going to create a line of liquid liner just along the top lashes. I 
This is probably the most time consuming part of it because I really want to get a nice thick line. So hopefully you can see how I've applied that. I've taken it quite far in, not into the tear duct itself, but further in than I normally would. I haven't really taken any under the eye. I haven't taken any eyeshadow under there either. Just sort of connected the corner to the very, very slight flick that I've done. Um, I'm, I like the intensity of this, so I'm not going to soften the look with an eyeshadow. So that's the liner done. Next I'm going to curl my lashes using the Shuamura Eyelash Curler Cult product. Probably should have done this before applying the liner, but it doesn't really matter too much. I think it's dried. And finally I'm going to finish with an application of my Sephora Outrageous Volume Mascara. Um, any black mascara will do. I like a volumizing effect. I'm applying quite a bit of this because I'm not planning on using false lashes for this look, although you could. I've just focused the mascara onto the outer corners a little bit more and sort of tried to tilt the brush when I was doing those ones so that it would really give that nice fluttery effect. And there you have it. I hope that you like this look. If you try and recreate it, then do let me know. If there's any other tutorials you'd like to see, then um, just make a comment in the bar below and I will do my best. Um, if you've enjoyed this and you're not already subscribed, then please do so. And I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.